Welcome to Engineer in the Making. Today, we're solving a bit of a puzzle that involves alcohol. Right here, so it's almost Christmas time, uh, and I got myself a nice little bottle of whiskey for, for the holiday season, of course. Um, and what's really cool is they included a puzzle on the lid. How cool is that? Look at this. So, bought this from good old Dr. Dan, Dr. Dan Murphy, um, and they've got a little puzzle on top for the Christmas time. It's like a two-in-one present. How about that? So we bought this bottle of whiskey for my grandpa uh, for his birthday that's coming up, right? Uh, we thought it'd be a really nice gift, um, but what what they didn't do was was take the security tag off the top. So you can't actually get you can't get the lid off. You can't you can't get into it. You can't drink the beautiful juices from the alcohol holes. So what we're gonna do is try and find a way to crack this thing open. Uh, yes, I know you probably shouldn't be doing this and you should just take it back to the store. Uh, one, we don't have the receipt anymore. Two, they're probably gonna think I stole it anyway. Um, I didn't, just saying, clarification, didn't steal it. Um, also, I just think it'd be a bit of fun because that's what engineers do, right? We just solve problems that don't exist. Cool, so Pritch, how this mechanism works, I think, um, is that there's two ratchets on either side. I don't know if you can see this on there. I'll try and get that to focus. Um, on there, we've got these two little ratchet mechanisms, one on either side uh, of, this, of this mechanism. And what that'll do is stop you from allowing to hinge this at the top here. So you can't get this open because of these two. Uh, look, this little bit at the back here, no idea what that does, not even gonna lie. Um, I think it might just be a bit of like a security tag so when you walk through the gates um, of the store it beeps, um, but that didn't happen when we bought it, so who knows. When they put it through at the counter when they get rid of it, I'm pretty sure what they do is they pretty much expose it to a magnetic field or to a really big strong magnet, which on, uh, on those two clips, there's these little uh, pieces that kind of hinge out like this, which is what kind of connects into that ratchet. So what I'm thinking is if I just get a really strong magnet and put it up next to this, I should be able to unlock the little mechanism in here and we should be able to just pop this bad boy open. Uh, and look, if that doesn't work, there is a plan B. Um, we'll get to that later. All right, first things first, let's find an old hard drive. All right, so look, I should probably check uh, what's actually on this before I tear it apart. Um, once you open a hard drive, look, there's, it doesn't go back together. It's just, don't even try. Um, this is only 120 gig though. It doesn't even have a SATA port. It's like the old parallel, my name is parallel? I don't know, whatever you call those ports. Um, look, I also just don't care. So I'm gonna just get started ripping this thing apart. There's just a few bolts around the outside. Uh, we're gonna find some platters in there. I've done this a few times now. Um, there's a little head, the read-write head. Uh, and that's where we're actually gonna find the magnet because that's what controls the read-write head movement. Uh, remember these things spin at like, uh, was it like, yeah, 7,200 RPM. Um, so they're bloody quick. So that's that's why you need such strong magnets and stuff to just be able to react, react really quickly. Um, but anyway, stop, stop talking, enough talking, let's do it. So that should be all the screws out, I think. Let's try and pop this bad boy open. Why won't you open? Do I need to take this off? Let's take this off too. Nope. Ooh, there's another one. Warranty void if removed. My favorite stickers. Yes, love them. It's like, they're just asking to be, you know what? They're asking to be taken off. Get in here. Get up. Yes. All right, that did nothing. I just damaged the platter. That's cool. Do I spin it? Can I spin it? Why can't I get you open? Oh, there's some screws that come in from this. That's just gonna hold the motor on though. Is there any more secret? <gasps> Ah, top tip, when you're taking stuff apart and it's not coming apart, there's usually a hidden bolt or a hidden screw underneath something, like a sticker. So as you can see here, there's a bit of a, uh, 
It's a bit of a rise there. So I'm going to suggest that right there, if we take this off, we're going to find another bolt, which we have. There we go. Look at that. So it was actually hidden underneath the sticker. There's another one there, which is why we couldn't get that out. Oh, piece of cake. So if you haven't seen inside a hard drive before, that's what's in it. So it's pretty much these metal platters here, which is what the data actually gets stored on. You've got the read write head. So when you're reading or writing data, you're saving a file or you're, you're trying to read something, this head actually spin, goes back and forward as these platters are spinning around. Uh, so essentially what this does has a little uh, head on it which can put down small magnetic dots essentially. Uh, so how a hard drive works is it reads magnetic dots, ones and zeros for the binary, uh, which is you know what your computers run on. So there you go. What we're gonna need to do though is get into this little bit here, the little where this read write head is. To make this flick back and forward like it does to get the read write head going, there's a magnet in here with essentially a voice coil. So it's similar to a speaker where as it pulses it, it'll actually move. And remember, this thing is spinning at like 2.7 thousand RPM. Uh, that's, you know, revolutions per minute for those who don't do whatever. Um, let's, let's get in there. It's, there's mag you, can see it's, you can see it's magnetic because my, my screwdriver's sticking to it. Cool, so right there, I've just pulled off this magnets. Uh, there's this pair of magnets in there, right? Essentially there's one top, one bottom, and there's this coil in here, which is what moves this back and forward. Um, another project I wanna do is actually to turn one of these into a laser show. So one controls like the X direction, one controls the Y direction. You can make a laser do some real cool. It's gonna be mad. All right, to get this apart though, I wonder if that's literally just held in there with the magnets. Like can I just, oh God it is. Oh lord, I'm going to snap a finger off. So you can see just how strong these magnets are. I literally have to get a screwdriver in there to pry them apart. Um, so if these don't do the trick on this bottle, honestly, I don't know what will. Um, let's... There we go. So, they're a pretty funny shape. There's two of them. Um, I don't want to get these too close together because I don't want to break my finger. Um, it, let's do it anyway. Ready? It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's a bad idea. Cool, so we've got our magnets. Let's try and uh, let's try and unlock our bottle. And there you have it. Look at that. Piece of bloody cake. <laughs> that was way easier than I expected. Cool, so that worked so much better than I thought it was going to. I suppose that makes it a nice quick video. Uh, so just kind of sum it up. So this is a little cap here. Um, let's get into focus. So pretty much that's the little ratchet mechanism I was talking about. So that's what clamps over the bottleneck. And there's a little ring here that clamps so you can't pull it up. Uh, essentially, all you need to do, oh, let's grab two other magnets. Oh man, I can't get them apart. Just gotta grab a magnet, put one on either side, which pretty much releases the latch. And now you can get this open so you can get it off the top of your bottle. That's it, that's all there is to it. Um, so I suppose that's that wraps up today's video, I guess. Um, yeah. Don't use this if you're gonna steal bottles, cause don't steal them. I've said it enough times now. Just, just don't, just buy it. Or make your own, make your own, make your own's fun. I should make my own. Oh, that would be fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this one was a little bit informative. You got to see inside of a hard drive. You got to see how one of these little things work. Um, I learned something, so that's cool. Um, that's the whole point of these videos. So I um, hope I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing Christmas and a uh, happy new year if I don't uh, make another video before then. I'll try to, I keep saying that. I'll, I'll try to make another video. I might, I won't, I might, we'll see. Catch you later.